I'm going to show you how I would invest $5,000 if that's kind of all I had this month. If it's that interesting, drop that like, give me a subscribe. Who watched my last episode? I've been bringing these every month. I think I need to. Now I'm going to try and switch it up from the last one. This was the how I'd invest $1,000. If you missed it, you know, go check it out and everything else. Who's that? <laughs> I'm staying in a very nice place. I'll show you, look, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'm just nosy, man. This is my, my view right now. Beautiful, nice place. See that? Yeah, man. <laughs> um, just put this back. <laughs> Show my face. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I messed up the camera now. <laughs> just make it nice. Is it me? You see me? <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been showing you this. Now I'm going to show you how to invest $5,000. Not financial advice. Do you further research? Yeah, let's do this. I would take... I would take... $1,000 and I would, what do you, what do you think I'd do? Where do you think I'd put it? <laughs> I would put it into Blender, you best believe. <laughs> you best believe, say it, you best believe. Blender for me, it reminds me of Cardano in a sense of, because I remember where Cardano was when it, if you've been around as long as I've been around, right? I remember when Blender, I remember when Cardano had its phases of coming out and the things that it had to do to try and, you know, show people where they were trying to go with their vision. Do you remember this? Because I remember when, you know, it came about, the whole Byron phase. And if you was around like where I was, you know, was it 2017, 2018? I can't remember. We waited for ages for Shelly to come. Who remembers that? And it had so much bad, FUD behind it. People were just cussing like Cardano down, saying it's never gonna come. This is about four pence for what four cents for a while. It's never gonna come. They're taking too damn long. They're scammers. They're flipping taking our money. The price is falling. It went from flipping 12 cents. Well, let's have a quick look at flipping because it just reminds me of it. Now, I know they do different things. I know Cardano is a layer one. I know this is all GPU computation and everything else. But when I look at it, I'm getting those same vibes. So now we really need to go back. Let's take this to max. You know, we're, we're going right back to 2017, right? 2017, it had this massive cycle. You know, Cardano comes out. And then it falls massively for the bear market. Uh, actually, let me swing this back because there's there's price action that you can't see that you need to see, right? Let's get it right back. Here we go. So actually, let me get rid of this big lump as well. Then you'll see real price action. Here we go. So comes down, bear market, starts to rise up again. And then because Shelly hasn't been released, like nine cents fell down, come up to like 10, 12 cents, almost 10 cents. Because Shelly wasn't released, he saw a massive flipping sell-off. Prices started to fall down. And then people were just getting fed up because everybody was thinking that Cardano was going to uh, uh, release this Shelly where people can stake and everything else. And it all sounded good, but it just wasn't happening. It fell right down to flipping three cents. <laughs> that, that's more than 60, 70% drop from nine cents because 50% cut is four and a half cents. So just over about 60% drop. And people just thought, no, this ain't gonna happen. I'm fed up with this. It just keeps falling. They, the, the founders selling, <laughs> Charles Hoskins said. And then look what happened many months after. You see this, look, watch. You see price start to go up and then eventually just exploded. <laughs> so when I look at that, I see Blender. I see people panicking and have fear because the price is falling. It's like it fell huge amounts, 80 something percent. And then I say to myself, do I do what everyone else is doing? Do I panic and sell with them? Or do I just become an absolute boss and buy this like a boss? So this is what I would do. And again, I know they're different things, but this is, I, just, I don't know. Look, but we can afford to lose, not financial advice. I'm just telling you what I would do, yeah? That's all I'm showing, what I would do. If it goes to 100x, 1.9 billion, you're laughing. That's the first one. Next, I would take one, oh, your thousand dollars turns to hundred thousand dollars, by the way. I'll take one thousand dollars, who's that? And I will put it into Gamer Arena, you best believe. I'm trying to switch it up and trying to show you, show you some different things from the last one, you know, with that. So Gaming Arena is a play to earn. I really like it. Play to earn. Uh, and I saw it a, a long while ago. I saw many people talking about it. 
uh, you know, influencers and stuff when it came out it had a massive explosion. But I, I sat back, I thought, I don't want to buy it when it's so flipping high. It had an insane rally, like insane. So I'm trying to, I want to find the tops. I'm just going to bring it in a bit. This went as high as 18 cents. So already, if you buy now, 6, 12, almost 3x, unless you've been buying down here. But um, yeah, 4, 5x, something like that. But what I'm saying is it's a good buy now. So what is it? Let's take a quick look for those that are new to Gamer Arena. Gamer Arena is like your competitive, you know, 1v1, play and earn. Uh, and it's all hyper casual gaming on your phone, which is what I like. Just play it on your phone, have fun. And they look good as well. The games actually look really good. Partners are crazy. You've got Atari there, Sandbox. If, if, if these are your partners, it's crazy. Um, I just want to show you, look, what's this? 500,000 users, 500,000 duels played, uh, 10 million Game Arena tokens, plus GAU token competitive volume. So people are earning, they're challenging, they're earning, they're winning. And you can see here on the left-hand side, the type of games that you can play for this. This sits up there with your plays app, sits up there with your Game E, GMEE -E token. It sits up there with your Wham, your Octo Gaming, all of them. And there's room for all of them to succeed as well, which is crazy. Because when you think about the apps that you have in the app store, this one has a million downloads, that has a million downloads, they all have million, people use them and play them. And, if, and I think the ones that will win, that will be the ones that, one, yes, you can come up with brand new fun games. Two, games that people know already. Like your, your, your pool, but it, new games is equally fun. Don't get twisted. New games are equally fun. And yeah, I feel like this can just really do really well. So um, get an APK. You can, I don't know what's wrong with Google Play Store, man. They keep taking flipping apps off. You know, like you, you try to get yourself a Mexi or KuCoin and you can't get the app on there anymore. You have to go directly to the websites to be able to get them. And that's what they've done here, right? So if you want to try it out and play it, you can come over. I might bring a play to earn on this. I might bring a play to earn on all these sort of casual games so I can show you what you're getting into, what you're investing in because essentially we're investing in companies we're investing in startup businesses that can probably do really well crypto businesses that's how i look at it. i don't just look at it like it's a coin i look at it like we're investing in the next big thing right for a company so yeah that's what i would do uh, right now how much is game arena let's quickly go back to that Gamer Arena is sitting on an 18 million market cap so like i said we're looking for 10x's 10x well well 100x's 100x because i was doing 10x 10x is 189 million 100x is 1.8 billion and then this will probably sit on a 3.3 billion dollar market cap uh, fully diluted let's take a quick look at this yep sits on my 100x row you can see here i got one more i would take ignore the bottom these are just old ones from the last videos i get rid of delete that huh? i would take one thousand dollars who's that i'm so nosy and I will put it into Node AI GPU. You best believe. <laughs> Can't help it. Um, why? Because I feel like it's a good buy. I've been seeing this flow, right? And has its ups, has its downs. But when it, when the AI, when I see people get excited for AI coins, this really moves. Like you can see the swings that it has to go from like sixty cents back up to like one dollar something, back down to seventy cents. Seven cents. I said cents. Not, not the other one. Uh, yeah, um, it, just, it, it just has dramatic swings and it can easily, maybe because there's just so little in supply. Maybe that's why it's doing it. Because the supply is so down, it's 100 million tokens. So it makes sense why the swings are so, like one minute it's like dollar, like 79 cents, one dollar. Oh no, it's not because that's over the month. Let's have a quick look. The swings were high before, I'm sure. What's this? One dollar sixty. It's, it's come down seventy eight cents. That's all I'm gonna say. It's come down. It's cheap, and you have the opportunity to buy one dollar fourteen up down to one. No, yeah, no. Or maybe I was looking at this over the last. Went up to there. Yeah. Look, 78 cents, 75 million market cap. I think it still has 100x potential, which will put it at a $7.5 billion market cap, fully diluted 7.7 .7 billion. And this is targeting uh, the whole GPU space. And I think there's a lot of room for GPU projects to fly. So yeah, that was Node AI. Uh, what do you think of this? Drop your comments. Do you have this? Have you been buying Patreons? You've been seeing my buy alerts. I'm just trying to show you what I would do, you know, if I had this sort of money to invest. Let's have a look. So this ticker symbol is GAU, Game Arena. This was Node AI, which is GPU. Now we're looking at, I've kind of just skipped the 500X, gone straight for the 1,000. <laughs> 
I would take, and I, I want to turn a thousand dollars into a million dollars. I think it's possible with these coins. One thousand dollars. I would put it into zero AI. You best believe. <laughs> I heard Super does a good represent uh, impression of me. <laughs> Shout out, bruv. Um, yeah, zero AI. <laughs> you best believe zero AI is um yeah it's special it really is and if it can continue to evolve with its video generating it, it's going to do exceedingly well and it can probably sit up there with something like your sora ai i don't know are they using sora secretly did they gain secret access to that because i don't think sora is available this is chat gpt sora i don't think it's available for people to use in public because it, it's extremely dangerous if it's in the wrong hands but what i like about this is there is no boundaries <laughs> a lot of these projects, these AI platforms eventually will give you boundaries. It's gonna, and, and ChatGPT is a fine example. Due to copyright, we cannot do this. Due to copyright, we cannot do that. Trust me. That's what it says. You tell Zero AI to do the exact same thing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what are you using it for? Okay, you just, just make sure it's not my name, but you can use it. I'm just saying, it just had no boundaries. You could do anything with this. Text to video conversion. Ask it to create any video you can possibly think of. Watch it create it. Someone keeps telling me in the info section that David, you can do long extended videos, but you need to use the right command. Can you drop the command in the info section? So, uh, sorry, in the comments, so I can see how to do this. Because I, I want to basically do, you know, you, you, sh you with this type of technology, you can create your own animation TV series where it can do cutscenes, but in order for that, it needs to be more than six second video clips. People are saying that you can do it with the right command. Tell me the command, because I want to try it. I want to make my own little series. I want to make my own little, ver I want to ask it to make me an episode of, uh, I don't know, Family Guy talking about Bitcoin, but it's only going to be for me, no one else. I can't upload it because due to copyright, you see? <laughs> but it would do it for me. So I want to do that. But I want to see how it would do it. And I need to, it needs to be able to be longer, you know, 30, 30, 50 seconds, maybe a couple of minutes if I'm lucky. So someone tell me the command for that. But yeah, this this has mad potential. Um, where's the thingy? We've got Dex, Dex Tools here somewhere. Can we click on Dex Tools to see what it's sitting on right now? Has it been going up? Has it been going down? Let's have a look. I mean, I know I can just look at this. Look, look at the anim Look at the video quality that this is sharing. It's unreal. And when I say it has no boundaries, <laughs> You ask it to flipping make Spider-Man, it's going to make you Spider-Man. No flipping boundaries, man. <sighs> Guys, understand, like, AI is going to take things to a whole new level. When you don't need actors to do things for you anymore, when it can be so advanced, it can learn, it can have character. Right now, these are cinematic shots. When AI gives you full characters characteristics in a video film image like and that's a good example of what i mean like i feel like an alien staring at me and he wants to do something to me like he's following me that's got characteristic when you look at these things these little cutscenes, it's like it looks like b-roll something that you could like you know what i mean so um when you start getting character this is why i say to you when if you can start if ai advances so damn much that you can start making your own tv series and you can see it laughing doing stupid things or whatever it's like i'm thinking family guy what's his name peter griffin doing silly things um yeah that's when you know we that's it we do not need people anymore because ai is so damn intelligent that you just don't need them anymore and if it gets better and it looks better and it can be sharp with what it's sharing because i'm looking over over here at the car right you can see the car merging and and, and evolving and transforming as it does its thing that's because ai is not 100 percent. but when it gets to 99.99999 percent you better be careful with what, what's coming man <laughs> just flip it out it's mad our future is going to be mad in five years from now i can't find it i'm going to grab it up from dex tools Right, you just need one decent project. Three million market cap. Ten X is thirty-three million. Hundred X is three hundred million. Thousand X is three point three billion dollars. I think it can do it if it says if it can do what it says it can do on the tin, which I've seen it do with my own eyes because I've tried it myself. And I think as time grows and advances, yeah, I think it can do good. Someone drop the command for me, please, guys. That was how I would. Oh, I got one more. <laughs> I would take my last thousand dollars and put it into Gen AI. You best believe, Gen Box. 
So we've got zero AI, which does, um, I'll just keep it zero. And then you've got the video. And then Gen AI creates landscapes. If you missed the last video, you can check it out. I'm gonna quickly run on it real quick again. Um, and I just think it's got big potential. I think it's gonna do exceedingly well. So Gen AI, <coughs> Gen Box, can I grab it up here? Is it over here? It's not, oh, there you go. Yeah, Gen Box has potential to do really well when it comes to the whole game inside of things. Cre allowing developers to, to just create games instantly, fast, efficiently, using natural language processing, machine learning, and all these other things with AI to make it work quick. You ask it to make, let's have a look at some of these other ones, because I'm always showing that. What else you got over here? Can you, what's this? Let's have a look at that. You made a nice little hover, hover landscape. Freestyle game, what's that? I, I, I want to see something different. What's this? Freestyle, uh, freestyle gameplay. I don't want to see that. I want to see a hover series, hover scene. You ask it to make a scene for you in text, and then it makes it for you instantly. And I'm guessing this was something that was made by Genbox. It's gotta be, because it asked it to do it. Is it? It's mad if it is. If this was created by Genbox, the potential, it must be, because if you've got it on the site, it's just insane, man. So, yeah, that was this one. I'm not going to say too much, but it's self-explanatory for what it is and what it's trying to achieve and what it's trying to do and everything else. Yeah, 3.3 .3 million guys. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was zero AI. Gen, hold on. Box. Oh, Bix. Box. Here we go. So, Gen Box right now is sitting on a 2.1 million market cap. 10x, 21 million. 100x, 210 million or 215 million. 1,000x is 2.1 billion dollars. I think it can go there. Is it gonna fall into my golden zone and underneath so I can buy? We will see. I'm gonna leave it here. Was this helpful to you? Drop that like, give me a subscribe. This was how I would spend $5,000. Do you wanna see how I would invest 10,000? Stick around for the next videos. I will be bringing them. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Become a Patreon. The link is in the info section. Click it, come over, check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. <laughs> Never be defeated